Hey guys and gals, it's Zero here from Cerebral Tackle. And today we're going to be doing what I like to call a pop-up review. Just a quick review on a bait you may or may not know about. Just give you a little bit on it and then let you make up your minds for yourselves. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at Paul Crew Custom Baits. It's their two and a half inch chunk trailer. Now, for those of you who may be new to the sport and don't know what a chunk trailer is, a chunk trailer is a piece of plastic, or even in the case of Uncle Josh, a pork rind bait that's cut in, that's supposed to resemble crawfish claws and put on the back of a bass jig here so that when the bass jig hits the bottom, the claws will stand up in kind of that fighting posture that a crawfish will get when it feels threatened on the bottom. They'll back up, kind of rear up, put their claws up. Well, when the jig falls, those claws will float up and imitate that crawfish's frightened fighting stance. So that's what a chunk trailer is. Like I mentioned, in the old days, they were made out of pork rinds by a company called Uncle Josh. Uh, that company kind of went on the back burner for a while. They're now coming back out. It was kind of a supply issue. So now Uncle Josh is back, but there's a lot of competition on the market. Uh, so many different plastic companies out there make their own versions of a chunk trailer. Uh, some have more of a claw shape, like this bad boy here that I have on this PB&J jig here. So, you know, some have more of a claw shape. Some people use actual crawl worms. Um, some people use beaver baits, creature baits, whatever, to kind of get that kind of claw appendage look on the back of their bass jig. Anyway, that's what a chunk trailer is. Now, this is the most traditional shape. Um, this is looks, it's cut almost perfectly like an Uncle Josh pork bait. Um, this was the original shape that a chunk trailer was invented to be, okay? So, what you have here, Paul Crew, K-R-E-W, um, this guy does amazing custom baits. He does a React crankbait. His paint jobs are gorgeous. The guy is a freaking artist. Now, <clears throat> how you know the guy is a real badass? Pork rinds are not sexy. If you do a Google image search on Uncle Josh pork trailers, you'll see that they're, they're good. They work. Don't get me wrong. They're not pretty. They're not sexy. But when you have a gentleman like Paul Crew over here that can actually make a chunk trailer look sexy, that's some freaking artwork. Uh, here we have three colors. We have baby bluegill, which as you can see on the underbelly side is that nice kind of uh, blue-purple sheen there. And copper and purple flake in the chunk. Look at that. That's freaking gorgeous. You see the sides there? Look at that. If that doesn't give that kind of bluegill sheen to it. I don't know what does. Look at that. Here we have a green pumpkin orange crawl. The underbelly side perfectly swirled with crawl and orange. And then of course the um, the top side there, just a nice dark marbling with the black close to that orange tip. I mean, that is a wonderful, wonderful pour. Now, keep in mind that all these guys here are hand-poured, which means the plastic is going to be extra supple and have a lot more buoyancy. So when these things fall and hit the bottom, those legs are going to really kick up. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to get on the water with these things. Now, there's two ways, of course, of hooking them, but I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, this third color here is Lights Out. It's a deep, dark blue going almost into a, well, it's it's just a thicker plastic there at the head. So it's still going to be that same dark blue color. 
But look at that. That's a, just a good nighttime color right there. Or muddy water color. So um, the two ways to hook them. This generic other chunk I have up here. You can see I have it threaded up the hook shank. You can do that where you thread them. Or you can do like the old school Uncle Josh port trailers. Had a hole right there about the end of my thumbnail. And what you did is you just threaded it through one side and out the other. And just allowed the bait to kind of free fall on the back where the legs just kicked and held up there. And the water column floated as the bait fell. And even when it hit the bottom, they would just slowly come down to kind of imitate that crawl, just slowly lowering his claws. So, again, you can thread them through the end. Or you can thread them through the body with the hook coming out right there in the center. Uh, it depends on how you want the profile of your jig to look. Um, obviously, if you hook it through the nose down here, it'll give a lot more of the bait off the back of the hook. Obviously, if you thread them through the body with the hook coming out here, it makes it more of a compact presentation. But anyway, two and a half inch chunk trailer. I know a lot of people... Uh, prefer the three inch and three and a half inch. I'm not a big jig guy. Okay. Uh, I like to throw a lot of smaller compact baits. So honestly, the two and a half inch works for me. It's whatever works best for you. Of course, it's all about your comfort level, what you like to throw your angler identity. Look at that freaking blue pearl glimmer through there. Gosh, dang, that's gorgeous. Anybody that can make a chunk trailer look sexy is a bad, bad man. And I'll tell you, check out Paul Crew Custom Baits. I received nothing for this review. Absolutely nothing. Uh, I just now got them in the mail. Thought I would open them up. These are the three colors I got. The uh, Green Pumpkin Orange Crawl, the Baby Bluegill, and the Lights Out. I just wanted to share them with you. Um, take a look at his website. I'll put it in the description box below. Take a look. Tell me what you think in the comments below. The guy really does make a sexy looking bait. And like I said, anybody that can do that with a chunk trailer, that's a bad, bad dude, man. Mama, there goes that man. I'm telling you. Anyway, pretty cool stuff. So that's just my quick spot, re spot review on uh, Paul Crew Custom Baits 2.5 inch chunk trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, pick you up some. Why not? I mean, it can't hurt. Uh, sometimes when you're throwing a sexy bait, it gives you a bit more confidence. Helps you fish it a little bit better because it helps you kind of stay in the mental zone longer. And therefore, puts more fish in the boat. That's what confidence is all about. That's why confidence, you know, it's cliche. They say confidence is the your best bait in your box. Well, you know, that's true. Because when you're confident in a bait, you pay more attention to how you're working it. You're more in tune with it. You stick with it longer. You increase your odds of putting fish in the boat. That's just, that's just fact. Uh, if you're fishing a bait you don't have a lot of confidence with, you know, you're going to burn out on it quick. You're going to want to put it down. You're going to want to change. And then you're going to get into that revolving door of changing baits every 10 minutes when you don't get bit. And that's just a road no one wants to go down because that usually ends in a bad day fishing. So, here you go. Paul Crew Customs, two and a half inch chunk. Guys, uh, tight lines to you. Hope you're enjoying your time on the water. We'll catch you next time. See ya.